So we have an update on Christopher Nolan's next movie, which includes what the film is about, a potential actor, and information on which studios are fighting over the script he has written. This all comes from Deadline Hollywood, a legitimate source which broke the news last night. I will leave a link in the description if you want to check out the news yourself, but in this video, I'm going to be discussing the news and giving my thoughts on what all of it means for the director. But before I get into it, if you want to see more updates and videos on the work of directors like Christopher Nolan, alongside further videos in my Nolan Variations series, then don't forget to support this video by giving it a like rating, subscribing to the channel, and turning on your notifications. Also, feel free to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, and Instagram at Cortex Videos, which is all linked in the description below. But without further ado, let's dive into all the details surrounding Christopher Nolan's new film. So having released Tenet during the midst of a pandemic, in which it earned 363 million worldwide, being successful in the landscape of other movies releasing and not doing so well, Christopher Nolan is now preparing to make his next movie, which has been detailed by Deadline Hollywood. The article that came out yesterday states that this time, Nolan is tackling the American theoretical physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer and the development of the atomic bomb during World War II. This would be his second movie on a time in World War II, but like Dunkirk, this movie is bound to cover a different genre and style from the Oscar winning film. But a bigger piece of news is that Christopher Nolan appears ready to end his traditional relationship with Warner Brothers and is open to advances from other studios who are interested. Which, let's be honest, is pretty much everyone, including Netflix who had previous conversations with Nolan about getting his next film. But we know that Nolan is focused on a fully realised theatrical release, with other studios providing better options for it, and it's the right move. According to Deadline, it's early days for the project, but a script is finished and moving around amongst film companies, with executives talking to Nolan and his representatives about potentially producing it. Though the director doesn't have a formal deal with Warners, the majority of his movies have been made there, so this signifies a potential change. Nolan was publicly unhappy about the company's decision to put its 2021 output on HBO Max as well as in cinemas, and this could be a sign that the close relationship between the director and the studio has cooled. Warner Brothers followed Nolan's directives in releasing his last film, Tenet, and the film still grossed $363 million worldwide, the biggest global number since the pandemic erupted outside Fast and Furious 9, Godzilla vs Kong, and Black Widow. Nolan and his wife producing partner Emma Thomas did not have a formal deal at the studio, but like Clint Eastwood, they have been very loyal about making their films there. Those collaborations led to billions in box office receipts. Sources also say that Nolan and his team are talking to Sony and Universal, with conversations still taking place with Warner Brothers and Paramount. The talks are at the highest executive levels, and Universal, Warners and Paramount had no comment, while Sony could not be contacted following the news. No offers have currently been made, but a theatrical release is of the utmost importance, as we expect. As for Oppenheimer, a film about the man among the ranks known as the father of the atomic bomb, and who suffered true guilt at having been a part of the team that unleashed it upon the world, sounds like a great fit for Nolan, and one that could provide Oscar-level material. The director has explored World War II previously with Dunkirk, and Deadline has apparently heard that frequent collaborator Killian Murphy could also be involved, but it's too early for any official announcements. He of course collaborated with Nolan on two of the Dark Knight films, Inception, as well as Dunkirk, and he is currently centre to star. 
With the project looking at World War II from the development of the atomic bombs that ended the war with Japan, there will clearly be many big star parts and Killian Murphy is no exception. But I'm sure we'll hear more on casting soon after the project is officially announced and I will keep you up to date on the project as we hear more. But what are my thoughts on all of this news surrounding Christopher Nolan's latest movie? Well, I must say, I am really excited to see what Nolan's stamp is on this material and to me, it feels like the director could be going back to maybe a smaller, drama-based film. But I may be wrong and Nolan might instead have found a way to capture this story in a large-scale manner. Regardless of what way he goes, what I love about this is that it shows that once again, Nolan is mixing up his approaches from film to film, bringing something different every time. It excites me to not know what he is doing every two to three years, and then when he announces it, it just gets me even more hyped when thinking about how he could place his style on the project. But I do think that Nolan is going to go more drama based and give us a character study of Oppenheimer that really delves into the inner conflict that the man felt when he was developing the atomic bomb. If he does go the other way then I'm sure he'll make that work too and on a funny note maybe he'll even blow up a real atomic bomb for practical effects. Only kidding, but whatever he does, I'll be there to watch it and having huge talent with Killian Murphy attached is just an added bonus. But with this news, there's also the discussion of studios which needs to be addressed. Nolan is one of the filmmakers that has been a vocal proponent of the theatrical experience, and rightly so, and while the director never had a first look deal with Warners, he was very loyal to the studio. Things hit a decidedly rough period in 2020 during the release of Tenet, with the movie's release being pushed three times due to the pandemic before finally being released exclusively in theatres. Even though the movie could have done better domestically, its worldwide total is still the fourth highest grossing of the pandemic, and it's a film that on rewatch over the last year has been able to make a profit. But then of course there were tensions between the filmmaker and executives during the many shifts and marketing phases, with Nolan also expressing his dissatisfaction with the studio for moving its 2021 slate to a day and date theatrical and HBO Max streaming release. Although his own movie was not a part of that move, it shows that Nolan deeply cares about the theatres and people in the industry who work on that side, and we've only seen growing examples of this model not working. What Nolan said last year was mocked by a few, and now here we are, with a majority of the most successful films doing well in theatres, in respective of their individual budgets. So whatever Studio Nolan does end up going with, they will have to have a good model towards theatrical, and to be honest, I see him going to Sony or Universal as Deadline have also said. We'll have to see, but so far, Nolan is once again building my excitement for his next film, and I can't wait to see what he does. But they were all the new details surrounding Christopher Nolan's next movie. I personally love this direction, and a film about Oppenheimer in World War II is exactly the kind of drama that I would like to see Nolan make, with plenty of room for thrilling performances, filmmaking, and intrigue into J. Robert Oppenheimer. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say on all of this news, and I'm also fascinated towards what studio you think he will possibly join. So let me know down below in the comment section. For more updates and content on the work of directors like Christopher Nolan, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. Because of this news, I might be doing a video next week discussing the true story of Oppenheimer and how Nolan could possibly adapt it, so make sure to look out for whenever I post. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.